Today's riot, there is loads Find coming out today. what happened mm -hmm. next week. We hear UK from young elections. people getting ready for we the Commonwealth Games. Who saved his mum's life. We get an invite to a wish TV party. shows are up for a battle. Hello again. Now, now it's the, the end of the Easter break for many of you, and the bank the holiday weekend this week. is the over. This was also the first Northern Easter Island. bank Question holiday weekend without COVID restrictions in three years, in right around the UK. You've been telling us what you've been up Ireland to. Some are indigo ice cream, and say, and we eat chocolate, and my grandparents came over to our house for a barbecue. Yum! Thomas Pro 11 had a cricket match in the morning, then went to the grandparents for lunch, lots of lovely food. As here. Liverpool fan really champion says they're fasting for England. Ramadan, which helps the them to be Party spiritual also as a Muslim. In nice Scotland, one. Purple Pencil 38 went to see Warner Brothers SMP studio Finch tour. That's very Labor cool. And Super Duke just and said, in Wales, eat chocolates. I feel exactly the same one. way. Four Thank you for all of your comments. We well, you can find out much more detail well, about over the, in America, the UK there election lots results. Of celebrations to to US President US Biden and Jill Biden, the first lady, who hosted the first Easter egg rolls at the beginning of the pandemic. It was the largest event held at their home the and headquarters. It will look into whether Sakir Starmer in. broke the COVID about laws after he was pictured drinking a beer in an office in Durham. The police originally decided no laws had been broken, but now Durham police say they have since received significant news days to go until the 2022 no Commonwealth Games kicks off in Birmingham. Well, It'll be an the extra office, big deal for athletes from the city. BBC no Sports, parties, John no Watson chatted with the world champion gymnast Joel Fraser and to Gabriel, a rising star in the sport, to find out more. How would it feel with a special commonwealth goal in your city to celebrate some of the group's biggest achievements? It would be amazing to know One scout there was 15-year-old Leo, who sent us this report from It's something that I dream about at night, training in Birmingham my whole life. I'm Leo, and I'm at Windsor Castle today to receive my medal for this year. I'm a little bit nervous, but it should be fun. prestigious... Um, I was nominated for this award because in 2019 my mother had a seizure in the bath and managed to pull her out, resuscitate her and, and all really these demons. And the, the next I knew how to do all this because of stuff that I learned at Scouts. The whole of Windsor is full of Scouts and we're getting to go inside parts of the castle. Feels a bit like a bit of an honour because of like big gym around the world. I've got to special see loads of Scouts who have done amazing things too. What's the best thing about being a Chief Scout? The best thing about being a Chief Scout is you want to be with some of your routines and your training. Amazing heroes like yourselves. So we're here by so many unsung heroes. This is one of the biggest. So you saved your mum's life. Come on, that is. And let's have a look at this. This is. This is one of our really special meritorious Next up, combat the Prime Minister medals. will make his Not first appearance in front of the other heroes. members of Parliament since he was fined by the police for breaking lockdown yeah, rules well at a party well during the pandemic. The Prime Minister is expected to apologise again, but is facing calls to stand down for breaking his own restrictions. This is he Leo, says Simon he wants Paul to stay in his job and deal with the other issues people are facing. Now, think back to the last 12 Now, there's a big change to newsline starting there. Today, every weekday, we'll be making a well, version of the Ready with British Sign Language available on the website. It's to allow as many of you as possible to watch the, the programme, and it should be available at around lunchtime each day. There's more issues up against Ant and Dex Saturday night. Now, take rescuing people in who get into trouble on the mountains of Scotland is not an easy task. Helicopters and teams of people have to search a wide area to find lost hikers. But now, the new favourite show was over the last twelve minutes. The mountains of Scotland. Finally, there is just time for this week's strange news. It's dangerous. This claimer was unlucky enough to find herself stuck. First up, check out this bridge in Vietnam, which is a bottom made entirely out of glass. The attraction is six hundred and thirty-two meters long and is suspended a dizzying one hundred and fifty meters above the jungle form of lush greenery. The bridge's creators think it could be the longest bridge of its kind, and officials from the Guinness World Records are expected to verify this. Thought I knew what I was heading for. Next, have you ever seen a tree? Well, now you. 
have. And of course, it's not really weak. This mulberry tree in Montenegro in southeast Europe has become famous for the water that gushes out from its trunk. The area has many underground springs, and when it rains heavily, they flood, pushing the water up through the tree, turning it into a water fountain. Amazing. And finally, this is definitely not one to try at home. When most of us visit the tourist attraction, we have a nice look around, maybe visit the cafe. But not this guy. When parkour star Dominic D. Tomato visited the Opera House in Sydney, Australia, he left no part unexplored, even the reef. The Australian native freerunner was given permission to put his skills to the test, both inside and outside the venue, over three days. That's one way to do it. Saving time and place. That winning tree was quite something, wasn't it? That's all from me today. I'm back with loads more tomorrow morning. And have you ever wondered how fish breathe underwater? Well, Tom Luker from the Natural History Museum. Dominic D. Mazza visited the Not Want to Try at Home. When most of us visit the tourist attraction, we have a nice look around, maybe visit the cafe. But not this guy. When parkour star Dominic D. Tomazzo visited the Opera House in Sydney, Australia, he left no heart Even the reef. The Australian native freerunner was given permission to put his skills to the test, both inside and outside the venue, over three days. That's one way to do it. That winning tree Next, was quite something, wasn't it? Next, there's been a big party at the National Zoo today. in Washington, D.C. in America. It's to celebrate 50 years weekend. since the first pandas Bye -bye. arrived. In 1972, two giant pandas arrived from China. The current apple, now there's loads more online. And Newsroom will be back on your screens tomorrow morning, 7.45 a.m. Set your alarm clocks. We'll see you there. Bye. Set your alarm clocks. We'll see you there.